The concept and practice of party delegates was borrowed from the United States, where delegate system runs through the entire electoral process, designed to ensure that the people are represented by those elected by them at every level of politics and governance. In Nigeria, the practice has been hijacked by those perceived to be money bags or power drunk politicians who want to get into office by all means. Since the commencement of party primaries across the country, there have been allegations of vote inducement by politicians to get the vote of delegates, a situation these legal practitioners say it is a dent to the nation's electoral process and the fight against corruption. You see, it's a, it's a, it's a big threat to the democracy because um, nobody seems to be happy. And uh, you can see that um, when we are trying to live there, we have spent about 23 years in democracy now. And But all the tenets of democracy, you know, they are all absent. In fact, what we have is civil rule, not democracy yet. Because if we are in democracy, we won't see all these kind of things. The system is uh, seemingly corrupt. And uh, the delegate system is also deeply corrupting the system. Any political party that adopts a delegate system is already teaching through to, towards corruption of the people that who are going to vote. The, the trend, what is happening in terms of this buying of votes, especially the delegate system, is, is affecting us as a people. It touches the root of democracy in Nigeria. They called on relevant law enforcement and anti-corruption agencies and lawmakers to make laws that will checkmate the activities of these politicians of these politicians indulging in vote buying. All the people that are, that are perpetrating this act of, uh, you know, uh, this act of uh, bribery, because it's bribery, it's corruption, it's moral decadence. The EFC should come in and address the situation before it gets out of hand. INEC needs to step in. The electoral laws and those who enforce the laws have to be more active in going after the source of this illicit money going into our political process. For an economist, Yushao Aliu, the trend of politicians inducing delegates, this time in foreign currencies, has a negative implication as it affects the ability of the country's economy. It has, it, has a, it has serious effect, especially when you will look at the dollarization aspect of our politics, where politicians always try as much as possible to have uh, a dollar denomination in trying to settle some political interest. So this has implication. Dominic Eyemese, ITV News, Abuja.